Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at the difference between auto text entries and auto correct entries. So for example, an auto text entry would be something like this, where you type a keyword, a trigger word, and press enter or give it a key command, and you can get a, a sentence, a paragraph, a page, a diagram, a few, a few words, images, charts all those sort of things can come in as part of an auto text entry whereas auto correct is just really for spelling mistakes where you type a word and you type it wrong and, and there's a an auto correct happens now in word there are thousands and thousands of preloaded auto correct options if i just try accommodation just do it with 1M. You saw there it corrected it, it put two M's in. Now, where this is, is in the options area. So if I go file options, it's under the proofing option, and then you've got the autocorrect options there. So as you can see, if it's ticked, if this is ticked, which by default it is ticked. Whenever you whenever you type these, you're going to get whatever's on the right hand side. So if you type, for example, the C in, in brackets like that, you'll get it automatically doing the copyright symbol. And if you scroll down this list, come into the words, you can see lots and lots of mistakes. Now these are um, mistakes that people have put in. Um, Having done research, but you can add your own. If you know that you do a typo, for example, you're always typing a particular word incorrectly, which I do, you can type it in. So if I add Brad Fraud instead of Brad Ford and then do a correction, that's how you do it. You just type it in like that. So that there's a mistake and there's a correction, and then you add it to this list. Now if I click OK and OK again and then type Brad fraud. When I press a space bar, it corrects it. That's how auto correct works. Now, when you click back onto the word, you've got this option here to knock that off and put it back to Brad fraud. And the reason that says so if you do an abbreviation, for example, so if I put um, child benefits agency and let's put that in just copy that put that into auto correct so, so it's child benefits agency sure if it has an s on it actually but i'll just put an s on it i'll just add that okay 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 and then you do cba what should happen is it should come in and it does come in so that would mean that if you wanted it to just say cba you you have to take off the auto text entry and that means you need to come back onto it and change it back to CBA, which is nothing too difficult. But where I would put that would be in auto text. What you do is like this. So if I just highlight this phrase and then go insert over to quick parts, and then you've got auto text there, then you can save to the auto text gallery, and then you just give it the abbreviation in here CBA. It's in the auto text gallery. You can change the category if you want. I'm just going to leave all of this the same. Now, because that's less than four letters, you'll have to use the key command to activate it. But let's just see what happens here. So if I type CBA, and then I need to do the F3 key command, which will bring it down. So by doing it in the auto text, you've got an option of bringing it down if you want to, 
or leaving it as CBA and then it won't change over. It's changing over now because I've still got it in the auto correct options, which I'll now go and delete from. So if I go file options and proofing back into auto correct. So CBA and then you've got it there, you just delete that. So it's now no longer in there. Okay to that, okay to that. So in terms of little phrases that you want to put in, they should go in auto text. If it's a spelling mistake like Brad Fraud or whatever other spelling mistakes you make, another one I do is quite often I miss out when I'm typing select, I miss out the first E. You can see there it's auto corrected it already as soon as I tabbed away from that. So that's one that I do quite often. Um, and any others you do, it's just a case of adding them in to the auto text list. And just to show you that C, if I do the C in brackets, automatically did the copyright symbol. So sometimes that can be a bit irritating if it's exactly what you wanted. So you'd have to change it back to whatever you need. Um, I wouldn't recommend going into file options and taking that tick off because then that's going to negate some of the other useful ones. You take this tick off, it's going to negate some of these other ones that you might need unless you're an absolute amazing typist and great at spelling. So you can see it's quite a lot there. These ticks means it's going to happen. If you don't want it to happen, you just take these ticks off. That's one that, unless you're quite a fast typist, you'll probably not even notice. But if you're a fast typist, it automatically clicks off as you're going. Mo normally, people that type slowly see it themselves and end up backspacing and starting again, taking caps lock off, but you don't need to. It would have corrected it anyhow. So I'll just come out of this. And what I'll do is just show you how to add something like a paragraph or a diagram. I'll do a diagram actually. I'm on the insert. I'll do a little chart. So let's say you want a chart to be in the auto text area. I don't want any data in it just yet. I just want a default chart. So you do exactly the same. You go insert, go to quick parts, the auto text option, save selection to auto text gallery. Now you get a little asterisk there. I'm just going to call it chart. Okay, I've already got one in there. Yes, press delete, type chart. You don't get the tip, so you're gonna you're gonna have to do the key command F3 function F3 if you've got your laptop with a function key needs to be activated, and then you've got the chart on the screen, and then you're into chart design. And if you want to um, edit data, you can click on that, and it brings this back up like so. You can do that with pictures, images, logos, smart art diagrams, like I said, and pages, anything you want. You just need it selecting, go give it a name in the in the auto text area, should I get there, insert, give it a name, put it in there, or you can go in through that option and then you, you just have to change this to auto text. Whichever way you go, you can actually do it. And you can put it into a category as well and you can create a new category you can have lots of different ones and then you can use these categories um, when you create forms and things like that later on in word but that's just uh, a quick look at the difference between the auto correct options or what auto correct does and what auto text is so in my view putting things like this in auto text is a better way than having it in auto correct which is where, what i've seen a lot of companies do so basically they don't some companies don't want you to be able to type an abbreviation which is sometimes frustrating because IT would set that up and you wouldn't have any control over it but IT are not the people that are sending out letters or writing things down so hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you in the next one thank you for your time